there's a couple of things. Um, definitely the rehab stuff, when you're an athlete and you're playing and you hurt something and all of a sudden you go from doing these, you know, incredibly taxing workouts and gym sessions and practice sessions to, you know, if you hurt your ankle, you're doing like a little band and just pushing it up and down and it seems like you're doing nothing. You still, you have to take it seriously. There's a reason you're doing it. There's a reason your trainer or your doctor or whatever has you, so has you doing those. So you have to take it and treat it like a workout. That's part of what you're, what's going to get you better faster than just saying like, this isn't doing anything. I'm done. I'm, you know, screw it. I'll just get, it'll get better. Um, and the other thing is you have to make sure that you don't rush back. If doctor, it, you know, it's crazy. Some people heal faster than others. Um, but before you go out and try to play at that same high level, you definitely have to get checked out again. Cause it's not, it's a subjective thing. When a doctor says you're going to be out 12 weeks, you have to get re-examined. You may get better in six, but he's probably erring on the, <clears throat> on the conservative side, but you definitely have to get rechecked before you go out there. Just because you feel pretty good, it doesn't mean you can, you go out and I had a couple of instances where I re-injured myself trying to come back too early. And then that's just, just grinds on you mentally. And, and then you start doubting your body and then it's just a, a big spiral that you don't want to get into.